Okay, I have the uh, the battery pack wired up, got my connectors in, and uh, you may recognize this. This is uh, a RTL SDR, and you can make a Google search, uh, search it on uh, your favorite search engine. Um, and I have this hooked directly onto the direct sampling pins, and you can find all this information out on the internet. Uh, what this is, is a isolation transformer, uh, step up transformer, uh, and it's just connected to the capacitors. Um, it's a piece of bar antenna. So I'm gonna hook that up and uh, show you how it works. Okay, I have it hooked up. The switch is on long wave. Uh, this has an IF of around 400 and 60, 70 kilohertz. And here we have, here we have um, the oscillator. So this software is called GQRX. Uh, you can Google that, it's a free software. Um, and so, as I turn the tuning, the frequency goes up or down according to the oscillator frequency. Now I have this just hooked onto the tuning capacitor. It's actually strong enough to pick up the, the signal just clipped to the ground. I could hook it onto the antenna as well, but uh, it seems to do best hooked uh, onto the tuning capacitor in this particular situation. Um, again, this is just a rough. So I have the tuning capacitor and the chassis hooked up to the RTL SDR dongle. Um, the software is called GQRX. Um, you can look that up on the internet and you can find lots of different uh, softwares for Windows and Linux or Mac. Um, this is the IF uh, frequency plus the receiving frequency. Uh, this unit is set to long wave, so we are receiving around, uh, if the, the IF was 455, I think it's a little higher on this unit, we would be see, receiving around 300 kilohertz in this particular case. Um, so this is the situation. Um, the oscillator is running. Uh, I can change the oscillator frequency, of course, with the tuning capacitor. And um, so it is working. Now I'm gonna switch to medium wave. Okay, and as you can see, the oscillator jump frequency there. I think that's where it is. This is a low signal. Uh, let's see here. There it is. Okay. So that's around 1400 kilohertz. So right now we're tuned around 1000 kilohertz. So now that um, it seems to be functioning, um, 
I don't hear any static. Right? There's no... Uh... Let me turn this off here. There's no static. It pops when you turn it on. The oscillator is running. Um, but I don't hear any static. So I'm going to take a look at this here some more. Okay, it seems to work. It seems to be, uh, it seems to be working. I have the lead hooked up to one of the antenna wires. And this is on the AM. This is an AM radio. As I said earlier, this is uh, this doesn't look too hot, so I'm gonna look into this. So this is where a microscope comes in handy. Um, I'm looking through the eyepiece right now, but look at this! Look at this! Um, what is that? Uh, two wires are going to the same post right and it's just like globbed on there uh, this uh, I don't know if that's actually wire or if it's a string but um, it's not connected so I'm gonna work on this here so I got it ohmed out uh, the antenna coil is um, intact zero ohms and uh, that material is just a string so I got it on short wave and I got it with a with a wire hung out the window <coughs> it seems to work but it's, it sounds terrible <coughs> This is short wave. This is the short wave band. You know what? I'm going to cut the power to this room. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't just go twerking on this uh, IF transformer. Um, it's just loose, literally. Um, I guess the guy tried to tune it because that label was messed up. And those wires, those wires, I can just imagine... Um, if I had tried to turn it, it would have, that would have been it. That would have been it for this. Look at that. Is that epoxy? Uh, these are nice. Look at that capacitor. You can get right to it. No silver mica uh, problems. But um, I'm going to have to work on that. But maybe uh, take it out and, and work on it. But um, it's a good thing I didn't tweak it. Basically, you just you pull this out with pliers. Um, and the, and the can comes right out. So you, you hammer it in. That's that's uh, here's the piece here. So that's that's how it's done. Um, as far as this, it seems to be working better as it warms up. Um, this seems to be the the aerial. Makes sense, and then this this would be ground, probably. Um, I'm not sure what this brown wire does, but um, this is this is to outside. This is to outside. 
so I'm going to hook this up. Um, and it seems to work on AM now. I don't know if the capacitors are reforming or... Or if, if my solder job did the trick. But, uh... I'm getting, uh... At least interference, which is better than before. So I'm gonna hook this back up. Okay, I got that hot glued back on there. Right, it's, it's uh, still setting up. It's not permanent, right? That's not gonna be, well, maybe it will be. Um, but whoever busted it, these are plastic. Uh, you have to use hot air, right? Uh, if you just try, this, this, wait, it's 1954, 1953, it's 2021. Uh, that's 70 years, uh, so it's like 70 years old, right? So if you just start tweaking on this whole, what is that, wax? It's like wax. Uh, you have to heat it up and then you play with it, right? Well, don't go uh, breaking it off and it has to be secured, right? If, if I were to just leave it like that and even just shipping it, uh, moving it here and there, that, that wire will eventually break off. So it has to be secured. So hot glue sticks and the hot the hot air gun, that's just fine. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And uh, this hot glue does stick to this bakelite a bit. I don't, I'm gonna fix the case, it's, it's messed up, but so I'm gonna try to tweak this. And these, this is not the right tool, but whatever. It's not gonna screw it up. I mean, you know what? I am going to get a screwdriver. But it seems to have peaked right there. This is not a a great alignment. But I think that's good. I'm gonna do the other one. That was maybe too much. So this one looks broken too. Whoever, whoever did the job, uh, didn't do the job. Yeah, so I know that's not the hottest look, right? With the hot glue leaking out, but let me tell you, it's a hotter look than the uh, the leads breaking off the transformer right at the epoxy and because good luck getting a new one of these you'd have to build one from scratch and uh, yeah so this is uh, this is probably gonna be permanent you could probably do super glue or whatever but it comes off easy it's not a big deal I don't want to break these wires they're too tiny you screw around with super glue um, and then those wires get messed up. That's it, right? You're, you're gonna play acetone on this plastic? No. The hot glue comes off the plastic with a scalpel and tweezers, right? This this comes off, right? The the super glue or epoxy or JB weld, uh, then, then you are screwing up. What if you have to take it out, right? So this is I did get a peek and uh, it seems to be better. 
So I don't know what the deal is with this. But without this cover, and, and it's not like it's, uh, maybe it's AVC. But look, without this cover, it's totally different. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I thought I busted it. Uh, it changes everything. Okay, so already I had problems with the glue, with the glue job, right? It doesn't fit on there. So if it's epoxy, what are you gonna do? Get the Dremel? If it's super glue, what are you gonna do? Get the acetone? Uh, no. No, with this, you just heat it up, right, and then you scrape it off. That's so simple, especially with delicate stuff like this. Don't force it on there, uh, busting it up, right, this vintage piece of equipment, irreplaceable vintage equipment, and you put a JB Weld on there. And uh, for German people, the German people who are watching this, the people of Germany who speak German, or American people who speak German, or uh, people who speak German in Africa, in China, in Japan, J.P. Weld is a... Uh, uh, this is I know. This is uh, epoxy. So, and the Americans love to put it on everything, right? So right here, that should do the job. Right, hopefully that goes down on there. Without busting it. But I put some hot glue over the wires too, to avoid any controversy. I'm gonna do this with uh, two hands. Okay, everything's off. This is uh, uh, AM, medium wave. This is not the right way to do this. I got it, I got it good. I got it as good as it gets. This is the old capacitor still, so. With the alignment. Now let's play with this. They're frozen. That one seemed okay. I don't want to fuck it up. These are probably the oscillator slugs. This is long wave. This might be medium wave. Seems like. So I'm going to get a better tool. Okay, no change. So, um. I think this is as good as it gets here inside this room. And this is all DX. This is uh, 
This is Germany. There aren't any AM stations here. That was Italy. Let me do a comparison. So this is the radio I repaired. Obviously. Well, it's not that much better. There's Britain. So it's not getting all the stations. Yeah, something's still up with it. It could be a week tube, it could be a lot of things. I have no idea. Uh, these are the old capacitors. It's drawing like three times as much current as it should. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not, it's not like the other one. This is a short way with the wire out the door. Actually, not terrible. I mean, for what this is, uh, 40, 30 foot antenna. 10 meters antenna. So it's not terrible, right? So it needs it needs recapped, but this seems to it seems to work. Um, it's RCI Radio China. 
performance against Granada was bleak to say that 1 1 draw. Defenders playing as makeshift strikers this London? in the second half. They played four off days, so it's a quick turnaround. That may but this is good for. I'm going to take it outside. That's all the way up. Maximum. Picking up uh, Radio 4. And that's our TL. This is long. This case needs work, man. doing better. 